Hey guys, so let's talk about Magic Digital Next. Uh, Magic Digital Next is real. It's probably going to be released early 2018, given what people are posting. Uh, they did release a Twitter post saying that they want to continue Magic Online. And Magic Online will continue as is and get the modifications. But I feel like that's half-hearted and this is why it's half-hearted. A lot of times when companies are building stuff, they have to take resources in one area. So when they were doing Magic Next, they were hiring developers in a language called Unity. Uh, Unity is not the language that Magic Online is coding. So any employees of Magic Digital Next cannot help Magic Online. And where do you think they're getting money to hire these Unity developers? Well, they're probably getting them from Magic Online. So instead of using the money and funneling it back in Magic Online, which they should have done and it would have solved the problem in my opinion, and we wouldn't have got to the stage that we currently are, uh, they are probably using that extra money and even if it's from a indirectly, they're get the money is coming from somewhere, right? Some profit line is, I would not be surprised if it was directly, but assuming it's indirect, you're paying these developers to make Magical Digital Next. A lot of people are worried about their collections. I would say you don't really have anything to worry about. If Wizard of Coast reserve list is any indication of how they treat collections, then your collection will be either imported or ported or somehow your collection will have value going forward. So a lot of people are worried, should I sell Magic, my own Magic Online collection? I would say it's too early to tell. Uh, I would be shocked if they made those collections absolutely useless. I assume that there's some benefit of having a Magic Online collection, even if Magic Digital Next becomes. So there's a few different scenarios. Magic Digital Next is a standalone product, so we will have free products, duels, Next, and Online. Magic Digital Next is a better version of Magic Online, or Magic Digital Next is a better version of Magic Duels, or all three of them become one product. I believe all three of them will become one product. And the reason is it doesn't make sense that, uh, so if you're playing on the iPad, Magic the Gathering Online, and you're playing on the iPad and you are interested and you're really enjoying the Magic Duels because it's on the iPad and iPhone, but you don't have a Mac or you don't have a PC, how are you going to play Magic Online? How do you take that next step? Is that next step going to a physical game store? Probably not because video gamers uh, typically don't go to you. I mean, it's a different audience at this point. It's a mobile app audience or an iPad audience. It's not the type of audience who is like, okay, well now that means I need to go to store to level up my game, especially since they don't have any cards at that point. The whole point of Magical Magic Duels is to sell product. The whole point of Magic Online is to sell product. Now, Magic Digital Next has to be better than both of those two at selling product. It can either do so directly, like Magic Online, or indirectly, like Magic Duels. I think it's going to be a combination of everything together, and you're going to have a subscription-based model, which will be limited, like Magic Duels, and then you will have a collection model, which is like Magic Online, in the same system. It has to be the same system, because that's the it would be the sales funnel, if you will. The sales funnel is incomplete right now, because if someone really likes Magic Duels, they cannot play Magic Online if they have the iPad version or the iOS version. And the same can be said about um, you know, Magic Online. If someone really likes Magic Online, they're not going to play Magic Duels, right? Even if they just want a relaxing, casual game. Magic Online, extremely aggressive. Uh, you're looking at pro players, grinders, people who are playing Magic at a much higher level than normal. And sometimes you don't want that. Sometimes as a player, I just want to play a casual game, play some janky deck, and play with my own janky deck, and then just have fun. I know they have ED8s and stuff, but uh, visually appealing, Magic Duels is not bad. The more I play it, the more I kind of like it. Uh, definitely the cards are limited in scope, and the playability is limited, and there's no draft. If there was draft in Magic Duels, that would be incredible, but I'm pretty sure they don't have draft for an obvious reason. Like, because then mad people, less people will play Magic Online and pay them less money. So Magic Duels is a graphically designed, visually UI, UX, it appeals to me. Uh, Magic Online is just such a disgrace to usability 
uh, that I cannot even like, I can't look at it. I, I used to, I was like, oh man, I'm gonna speculate. Thankfully I got out of those legacy lands. Otherwise it would not be as great right now. I was gonna be like, oh, this is the greatest opportunity. I can buy, buy legacy lands, dual lands and power nine. And man, I'm gonna make a killing from this. But then like, I'm trying to like buy and sell, like trade and you know, it's, it's like, wait, like, I, what, what's going on? Like, it's, it's, it just didn't work. Like, I, I don't know how else to say it. it. Crashed, right? Like, and my computer is a very powerful uh, Alienware. I know, I know a lot of you don't like Alienware, but I like it. Computer, I play League of Legends on this beast all the time, and it's never had like the screen, like, doop, 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 the cascade crash. Cra like, what is going on? Like, how much memory is this, like, program taking it's just ridiculous i can't i can't understand like how magic online can crash my desktop um i mean i played league at a and i played tomb raider uh it's it's a very good laptop or a uh, very good desktop so at the very end of the day it's got to be uh, in a different language and it has to be different programmers it has to be a different team but I feel like it's going to be one product. Here's the one product. This is the section for introduction players. This is a section for casual players. And this is a section for more advanced players. And that makes a lot of sense because you can put them in different levels like Magic Duels does. I'm hoping for the best for this product because Magic's future, I, I know a lot of you guys don't want me to say it, but I'm going to say it. Magic's future is not in cardboard. How could it be in cardboard? So I'm playing Fire Emblem, the mobile game, and it's really nice because I can take it with me anywhere. I can play anytime. That's magic future. Is I, if I'm waiting at my dentist or I'm at you know a meeting, you know waiting for a meeting, I can play a quick game of Magic. How awesome would that be if we could play Magic anytime, anywhere from our mobile phones? That's what Magic Digital Next has to be. Uh, when I'm playing League of Legends, like it's. It's a different experience because you have your monitor, you know, it's, it's running smoothly. Um, you can, <laughs> the setup and the graph, I mean, just visually what, way more appealing, right? Way more appealing. But if Magic had a mobile game, like Fire Emblem or Pokemon Go or Super Mario, it's, it's, it's okay. Uh, I like the Fire Emblem a ton with the little orbs. I'm really into that game right now then that's the uh, future of magic like what else could what else could it be anyway leave me a comment below bye guys